Hey guys, Castle 7 and today I'm bringing you guys another video on how to play the Geisha. So, the first tip, I have two tips to show you before you hop into a game with the Geisha that you must know. Is the first one is how to avoid attack recovery. So as soon as you go down, spam the attack button, you hit once, and then you get the ability to hit again to avoid that attack recovery. Next tip is how to go against an open kiting thief. So Imagine the thief is going at you with a flashlight. I have a friend, Hoggy Hogs, helping me um, demonstrate this. So you would use your teleport and focus on a cipher, and then go around and like dash, not like lash, dash, but like go to the side so the flashlight doesn't hit you exactly as I'm doing here. Follow the blood trail and his noise, and then hit him again, like so. It makes kiting, it makes kiting a lot harder for the thief and makes like it closes the gap between you and the survivor instead of you constantly getting flashed so now hopping right into a game I'm um, going as four docks um, it's kind of weird they might see this but they're all mammoths and I'm saber one I officially made it to mana core and I'm super stoked about it okay so this is um okay so uh, this is one of the four docks so um tie turns about to end soon it's like so. So I'll put this one on a chair. So, uh, thinking wise, I might want to do the, the next video on the Soul Weaver because it was the Soul Weaver that got me the Manicore. Like right now, I'm top 34, and I don't. I, I think I might stop and play Survivor, or maybe push the Evil Dragon. I'm not sure. All right, so I'm gonna do one of my tricks. Tonight this is up, so that means someone is within 36 meters. Oh wow, they're all rushing. Well, two of them are rushing. So check this out. One's gonna rush, come down. I miss, but I still get to hit again because there's no attack recovery. And just like that, I got one extra hit. So now I want to go after the dock in red because one more. I think it's like one more, and I think she's down. Like she's gone for good to the moon. <laughs> wow, they're all body blocking. She's over here healing, you know, just scare a little bit. And then I get this dock on a chair and send her to the moon. And then I'm gonna go after. Where's that dock that was healing up? Oh, you're around here somewhere. Where the hell are you? I think she went in here. Where did you go? There she is. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so she's probably gonna go to that and probably jump down or go to the window. Okay, no, she's gonna try and loop me going through stairs. Hop through the window. I got her right through the window. Because the dog does have a slow vaulting speed. So I was able to get that hit right through the window. Alright, then since the base is near me, I'm gonna go for a basement play. Why can't I go down? Okay, that was kind of weird. <laughs> Alright. Got her down. Now she's gone. Now, I'm gonna look and see if any ciphers are wobbling so I can teleport to it. Is there any wobbling? So, there's a little demonstration of how to move. You know, just practice with it and get good with it. You know? It's pretty simple. It just you get the hang of it over a period of time. Hello, is someone over here? No, no, oh, there's someone over here. Where are you? No, I just went away. The ciphers are all close to each other, so this is kind of good for me because I have a good position. Now I have like the control, like map control. So they would have to go to one of these ciphers, and it's very easy for me to maneuver. Alright, where the hell is this? Hello? <laughs> I'm still trying to look. Oh, I see up here. I see Prince. I see Prince. I see Prince. There you are. Come back here. Do not hide from me. Alright, she's gonna try and loot me. Alright. I went to go for a hit because, like, I don't know what she was doing. Alright, so she messed up. Oh, man, I messed up. I thought she messed up the loot. Alright, so uh, she didn't throw for the pallet. Well, now she did, but I kind of overreached and hit her and got that hit. 
And she didn't skill check me, so I get to go right to that pallet. I know how she plays. Because now I know how she plays. Oh, she juked me. What a juke. Oh, and a pallet smack. You know what? Kudos to you, man. Alright. I wouldn't fall for the same trick again, buddy. Nice try. Put her back up on a chair. So all of this is just really simple. Like, the Geisha is probably one of the easiest characters to play. Um, aside from, like... Well, Hell Ember is okay. But I think the Geisha is one of the hardest... Not the hardest, easiest. My apologies. One of the easiest characters to play. So now that I have Tinnitus up, I want to see if this dog is anywhere near me. Because then if she was supposed to go rescue, I can just, like, um, go down, hit her twice. Or maybe once. Like that. One hit. And look. No attack recovery. So it's a really good strategy to use. If you're like, if someone's near you, or like they're going for a rescue, normally, well, now these are all gone, but like, say if I had a coordinator on the chair, I wouldn't do that because the coordinator does have the, um, the resistance on the chair, so I would go teleport to another cipher and probably see how it go after. Um, my persona build, I have to talk about. Uh, on my Persona build, I'm running a North and South. Oh, I'll hit him for the rescue. Okay, well, I don't know what you're doing back here. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> um, the hatch is over there, so I think the dog is just gonna go to the hatch while I get her down. Alright, well, I think this is just a good game, you know? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, <laughs> wait, watch. I don't know what you're doing. Nah, I'm just having fun. So, before the video ends, I'm just going to show you guys my Persona build. It's a north and south with detention and confined space for windows and um, destru destructiveness for power breaking. I'm Castable7. Later.